Hi, this is Matt from Wave Machine Labs here with an Aurea video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll create some music in a synth app and then bring the audio over into Aurea using Audio Copy Paste. Then I'll use the FabFilter Micro plugin to add some filtering to the synth part and show some automation using Aurea's touch interface. I have a synth called Magellan open, and I'm going to use this to create a very simple little bass part that we can then bring into Aurea. Magellan is a very cool analog style synth. I can play a little bass patch here. This is one of their demo presets that I just tweaked a little bit. Um, got a uh, uh, filter, and I've turned off the effects because we're going to use Aurea for uh, processing a little bit. I already have a simple little sequence programmed into Magellan. I can switch over and uh, tap this to play it. Okay. Now, what we want to do is export this out. So uh, right over here is a little record button, and I'm going to hit record and then start the sequence. And just let this play a few times through. Okay, so I'm gonna hit stop on the sequencer and take it out of record and then hit the tape deck button. And from here, I can see the current recordings that I've got on, on here on, in Magellan. I'm gonna select the one that we just recorded. Uh, it'll see it here on the list, select it, and then hit the export button. And since we want to bring this into Aurea, I'm gonna use the audio copy feature, which automatically copies that uh, recording to the clipboard and now we just need to take it and we're going to bring it into Aurea. Okay, I've opened up Aurea and I have a blank project ready to go. Um, what we need to do is create just a brand new track. So we're going to hit add track. This is a, a stereo clip. So we hit stereo, we hit OK. And we have a brand new empty track. I switch over to the edit window. This is where I can uh, select my track and go up to the drop down list and choose audio paste. That brings up the audio paste menu. I could select uh, how many loops I want, in this case just one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit paste and bring it in. And there is our little bass line. Let's take a listen. Take a look at that in the mix window. Back to edits. And we're ready to add a filter. Fab Filter Micro is a single band filter that's available as an optional in app purchase through the Aurea store. I'll hit play and switch back to the mix window. I need to access my effects, so we tap the top button called FX, open the uh, channel strip, and over here on the right hand side are four little insert points. Tap the top one and then tap Fab Filter Micro. This is one of the available in app purchases on the Aurea store and it's real simple to use. I just slide my finger around to adjust both the frequency and the gain of the filter. I can switch from low pass to high pass with just a button. Adjust the envelope follow with this knob here on the left. Set that. Get a nice little up there, and there we go. Just very, very simple with Aurea's touch interface to adjust a filter like this. Not only is it really easy to control this filter, it's very simple to actually automate it as well. I tapped the W, which enables automation recording, and now I just slide it back and forth again while Aurea records the automation data from every touch that I do here in uh, Micro. Tweet the modulation, the envelope follower. You can see that the W button is turned red while I'm actively touching and recording the automation. And that's the end of that pass. Hit stop.
Let's rewind and take a listen and a look. Okay, we can actually see what that automation data looks like if we close all the windows here and go back to the edit window. I, over on the left and the track pane, are all of my automation parameters. And I can go scroll all the way to the end and find the uh, frequency. Oop, <laughs> sorry, wrong one. There we go, frequency. And here is that, uh, all the, the moves I made with the frequency knob. We'll cover editing automation data in a future video. And that's our tutorial. We created some audio in Magellan and audio copy pasted that right into Oreo where we then went nuts with a little micro from, from FabFilter and did some automation. So that's how you uh, bring the audio in and, and do a little bit with the effects and the automation. Just a quick little tutorial here uh, today. Thanks for joining us.